Hello, this is Alec of the Conway Daily Sun with... Brian. Courtesy of... Brian. Courtesy of Brian. And uh, we're here to talk about our favorite uh, fictional movie bands. Yes. This meaning that they're bands that aren't real, but within the realm of the film they are in, they are projected as being real. Yes. And they sometimes have very real good music. They do. And sometimes they, their music is so good they even break out. Occasionally. And become real bands. Yes. Especially um, with, with a number of yes. these bands. And our first, our first one is, is our, our number ten, because uh, so we're doing a list of ten. We're going to do this in two videos. And number ten is the inspiration for this video. It's the Sex Babongs from Scott Pilgrim vs. the World. Yeah. Which is essentially just Beck, but... Um, Beck and a bunch of snot-nosed kids yeah. playing the songs. Yeah, I mean, Michael Sarah, you know, plays Scott Pilgrim, and he does play bass uh, you know, on the track. And uh, Allison Pills, the drummer, she does play drums. I forget the name of the lead singer, but he's actually good. I mean, he essentially he does sound like Beck. The, the, the reason why this is so great is, if you've ever wanted to hear Beck doing, you know, crappy punk songs from, right. like, you know, the 80s. This is the band. This is, you know... Right, that's the whole point in the movie. They're like, <clears throat> an okay, a mediocre to good garage band. Mm -hmm. And that's what they, and that's what these, sound, so, yeah. these songs sound like. You get, you get like. all the, the genius of Beck's songwriting coupled with, you know, a, an incompetent band playing. Right. Which it, is fantastic. It, it works, it's wonderful. We are Sex bob and we're here to make you think about death and get sad and stuff! I hear the voices and the voices, the tremor of cool, the feminine of the sin, and reaching my threshold, staring at the truth till I'm blind. Number nine is a goofy movie. <laughs> you want to set this one up? Powerline. Well, we actually watched Powerline, or uh, a goofy movie, last night, featuring. Powerline. Powerline. Um, Alec owns it. I haven't seen it in years. Yeah. But, but the, 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 what did you call it? Prince Light? Prince Light. Light. He's Prince Light. It's yeah. like all of the, you know, the awful 90s pop. Right. He used to listen to in the late 90s, like rolled into one thing. Yeah. So you've got like the, the horrible Casio drums. And the, <laughs> and the lyrics about, you know, let's get together and love. Love everybody. And, and, you know, know it's, yeah. it's fantastic. But it's, it's, it's just so <laughs> cheesy 90s pop in a Disney movie. It's amazing. Some people settle for the typical thing. Living all their lives waiting in the wings. It ain't a question of it, just a matter of time. Cox from Walk Hard, and here's a movie not enough people saw, because it is a really on-target parody of biopic movies like Walk the Line and Ray. It just nails all the cliches, and it hits all the different genres of music from like the 1950s all the way up to like modern day, because they also parody rap music. I think my favorite um, song out of all of the Dewey Cox songs is when he enters his Dylan phase. Yes. <laughs> he just and bounces and the rest of the band is sitting there saying... What's he talking? Do you know what he's talking about? And then and Tim Meadows man. go, hey man, this is, a deep, this is a deep song. This is a deep, deep song. song, man. And the thing you have to know about Dewey Cox is, he doesn't pay for drugs. Not once. <laughs> 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 so check out, you know, I think, I think the clip we're in you is Let's Duet. In my dreams you're blowing me some kisses. Go down in history. That's what I'm praying to do with you. Let's do it. Number seven is Josie and the Pussycats from the movie Josie and the Pussycats. <coughs> and I realize technically this was a comic book first and then it was an animated series, but the difference here, the why it can be included, is because they wrote and recorded new music, created a new band for the movie. Mm -hmm. And I've been a big advocate for the music from this movie for a long time. I think it's catchy as all hell. Yes, you have. I haven't seen it in many, many years, but it's just great, solid, 
pop yeah. punk. It's pop punk, and it's, you know, you know... It's what the Donnas wish they could be. Right. And, uh, you know, the lead singer is the lead singer for Mutters to Cleo. Um, the guy, I can't remember his name right now, but the guy who wrote the, uh, the title track for That Thing You Do wrote a couple of the songs. Yeah. So there's writing, songwriting, you know, credibility mm -hmm. with the band, and it's just good pop. Um, there are three folk ba I mean, A Mighty Wind is basically Christopher Guest's folk spinal tap. Right. Um, and there's even, there's, there is even spinal tap as a folk band, essentially. Yeah, uh, the, the, yeah which is the, the folksmen. The reason they're not on this list is, well, you'll see. Yeah. But, I mean, the folksmen are basically spinal tap. Really, what it comes down to is Mitch and Mickey, uh, the characters played by Eugene Levy and, uh... Catherine O'Hara. Catherine O'Hara are the heart of the movie. You know, and and they, they even got nominated for an Oscar. Yeah, yeah, the the song, and, and they did too. It's just... Yeah. It was probably, of all the Christopher Guest movies, uh, Eugene Levy's performance in that movie is probably the most heartfelt and genuine. Yeah. Like, there was no winking or, <coughs> like, making fun of the character. Like, it was a real performance. Yeah. And it also shows him, you know, coming out of his box a little bit, saying, yeah. look, I can play something other than, right. you know, it was a serious performance uh, within this comedy, and not that the movie isn't very funny, it is. When I'm standing next to you, there's a song to sing, I know everything's feeling right. When I'm standing next to you, steeple bells ring, only good things do I see. You're next to me.